Hey, what's up guys? It's Kay here. Today I'm starting a brand new YouTube series called Hero Gear Guide. It's where I will go through all these specialists in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and I will bring you guys along the journey with me as I unlock their respective hero gears. Now, if some of you already know, hero gear is the last level of customization options that you unlock for a specialist once you've already unlocked the highest level of customization options for the head and the body for each and every other specialist. Uh, you've probably seen it around, it's where everybody's wearing all gold. Yes, that is hero gear. And today I'm going to be giving you guys some tips and tricks and showing you guys how I did it for the specialist Firebreak uh, when I completed his hero gear today. Uh, so I'm just showing you guys here how I have the hero gear, it's all gold. And now I'm going to start showing you guys clips of pretty much the defining moments of when I completed the challenges to get this hero gear. Now the challenges are you need to get 6 kills in a single match using his purifier and you need to get 4 kills in a single match using his heatwave ability. And you need to do those 6 times and 4 times respectively. All right, here we go. Now, Firebreak's specialist weapon is the Purifier, which is essentially just a flamethrower that will continue to spout out flames for as long as you hold down the trigger. Uh, the good thing about this specialist weapon is that it does have a hundred in the magazine, uh, allowing you to pretty much kill as many people as you oh see God. or as you can, hey, and you. you're not really going to have many moments where you run out of ammo for this weapon. Mostly you'll end up using it all, getting amazing kill streaks, or just getting killed while you're using it. So it is one of the longer lasting specialist weapons, and that's good for it. Now the purifier does take quite a while to charge, so I do recommend running overclock so that you can get it more often in the game. Also I do recommend playing round based game modes uh, because sometimes team deathmatch or even hardpoint isn't enough to get the amount of kills that you need because sometimes you just won't get the specialist weapon enough times during that game mode. I found that my game mode of choice for this was safeguard. Though, if you're somebody that works well in Domination, then use what's comfortable with you. But I found that I would get the Purifier at least two or three times per game. So that gives me a lot of room to accomplish six kills in each game. Now, my only tip on how to get the kills with the Purifier are just to pretty much run in there. You are a beast with this weapon and people are scared of you. When they see the flame spouting from your gun, they're they're gonna run away, they're gonna be scared. They almost stand no chance if you get up close and you close that distance with them. Uh, there's not gonna be many weapons out there that can kill you before you can at least lick them with the flames and kill them. Now the good thing about these specialist hero challenges is that the kills that you get stack. For instance in this game mode I am trying to get 6 kills with the purifier in one game. However if I end up getting 12 kills it will actually stack and count as me having accomplished that challenge twice. Uh, that's why I'm only going to show you 4 clips of me using the purifier instead of 6 because there were 2 games where I got more than 12 kills with the purifier thus allowing me to get Boom, yeah. my first hero gear chest piece for Firebreak. I am not an escorter. Now, Firebreak's doing? specialist ability is the heat wave. It's pretty much just an area of effect giant concussion blast that will practically immobilize anyone within a short distance of you when you activate it. It'll leave them slow, sluggish, and with their vision very blurred and pretty much it leaves them wide open for you to be able to kill them. Now I do recommend using this pretty much every time you run into an enemy. This isn't something, I mean if you run into two or more enemies that's great, you've, 
<laughs> you're, you're probably better at this than I am, but you end up getting this ability many times during the game, especially if you're running it with overclock, especially if you're playing the objectives such as escorting the robot or capturing domination flags or anything like that. So you end up getting the heat wave many times. So I suggest you use it, you know, because you only need four kills per game. That's pretty easy to do. So when you have it just use it to kill an enemy uh one or two at a time you'll find out that you reached four practically before even the second round it's it's really that easy to do something that i found out helped me a lot to complete the heat wave challenges is pretty much just to play the flank on the enemy come through the sides come up behind them get behind their whole enemy team follow some of their players uh, until they lead you to other of their teammates giving you some pretty easy double kills or triple kills sometimes when you're really pressed on time and you know the game's about to end and you need to meet the quota of kills four kills in a single game uh, it'll really make the hero gear challenges pass by a lot quicker if you can get more than just one kill at a time however for heat wave getting one kill at a time is possible like I said you will get this ability plenty of times in a single game. Now I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys here with the rest of this gameplay footage. Um, if you guys found anything at all that I said helpful or useful or even amusing, uh, please don't forget to drop a like and maybe even a subscription. It'll really help me out as I'm just getting started here on YouTube. I plan on dropping one of these videos once every couple of days as I complete each specialist's hero gear. Uh, I'm going to make videos pretty much just the same as this one, uh, taking you guys along with the journey as I complete each hero gear challenge for each specialist uh, and give you guys some tips, tricks, hints, or pretty much just insights on what I did that really helped me accomplish these challenges and pretty much just how to make it easier. So thank you guys very much and I'll see you all next time.
Cause now I'm doing the 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 heat wave, right? Yeah. So I started filming right at the beginning, and I went ahead and started doing it. Every time I called the heat wave, I shit you not, I only got one kill with it. And this is in safeguard where there's rounds. I called heat wave in four times in four different rounds. And I got four kills, one each round. Is that a noun? When did we turn that into an adjective? It's a it's a job. I mean, you can make a career out of it. <laughs> 